Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, thanks for tuning in to another video. Now, I don't usually do these kind of videos, but I'm getting into it more and more. Um, it's not, I don't really call it news, I'll leave that to the pros like usual Mike. Um, just wanted to share a few thoughts on some of the new reveals we've had over this past weekend. Um, some official, some not yet official. Um, we should see them become official tomorrow. Now we had Fan Force for Fan First Friday uh, from Hasbro, um, and they revealed some new products for each of their lines and uh, three new six-inch Black Series figures coming out for us. Includes Asajj Ventress, which has been rumored for a little while now, um, and I'll put a picture right there. Um, she looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, these figures look absolutely incredible. Um, I'm a big fan of Asajj Ventress. I have been for a very long time. I'm glad they went with this outfit. There were a few choices they could have gone with. Uh, she did wore a sort of darker, uh, not quite black, but a sort of darker outfit. They could have gone with the old Gendi Tartakovsky Clone Wars style, which would have been equally as cool. She looked a little bit more menacing, um, just with the you know full white eyes and uh, and and that kind of thing. Um, but we do have a couple of three and three quarter inch versions of a size Ventress from that, which are, which are fine. Um, so I'm glad they've gone with the sort of that sort of blue and uh, touches of magenta and stuff in the in the robes for a size Ventress. She looks absolutely fantastic. I'm really looking forward to that figure. My personal hope would have been for an Asajj Ventress based on the Dark Disciple book, but that's very, very like niche and me just being a complete fanboy. So um, I really like that look that she had in that book um, based on the art that was done for that book as well. And uh, I'm sure there's some concept art out there for what was originally going to be a four or eight episode arc uh, from that Dark Disciple book. One of the best books, go and read it, check it out. Um, I will be doing a review on that one very shortly as well. So, so we know Asajj Ventress, another two figures from the Clone Wars, and we know this is going to very quickly become four um, because we've just had revealed two members of the Bad Batch. Um, we'll start with Hunter, the leader. Um, he looks absolutely fantastic. The way they've put these figures together, um, you know, new clone trooper sculpt, you know, at its core, but with the new helmets, um, you know, all their distinguishing features for each of them. Um, Hunter has like a bit of face paint and tattoos, I suppose, more so than face paint, but they look absolutely fantastic. They look really good interpreted as like a almost super duper live action sort of version of it, of the characters. Um, and the second one was Crosshair, so, and he's looking absolutely incredible too. I really love the look of his helmet. Uh, that sculpt looks just blows me away. And, uh, that super duper awesome looking sniper rifle that looks like it's detachable and slottable into his backpack um, looks fantastic. I'm really, really looking forward to these two figures. So we're obviously gonna wait for the reveal of Tech and Wrecker, which I dare say will be an, uh, a deluxe sort of figure based on, you know, similar figures like Zeb, for example. Um, he is a little bit bigger and probably will fetch a little bit more in the price. Um, like Zeb did, you know, that's fine. I'm happy to pay a little bit more if we're getting really good, like chunky, solid figures. Um, whereas there have been deluxe ones that don't really justify that extra price point, but I think figures like Zeb, Wrecker, um, just looking around, maybe a Wampa, if they were to put Wampa in a box again. Um, they did recently did do that, but um, you know what I mean. Bigger, chunkier figures demand a little bit more money for the plastic, that's fine. Um, and Tech, like I said, he's, he's the other one. And we'll see if they go down the fives route too, because, um, you know, they want to have these figures ready for a uh, possible reveal, possible early trailer for the Bad Batch animated series that's coming out. Um, it has to be coming up close to 12 months since they announced that. So uh, maybe not quite 12 months. It was sort of up at the end of the Clone Wars back earlier this year. So... So they're the three figures uh, revealed for Fan First Friday. Um, yeah, really looking forward to those. And then some leaks happened on Instagram. Um, someone 
someone has been able to get these the same user dropped dropped a couple of leaks uh, maybe a month or so back um, but we're getting three new Mandalorian characters and I dare say they'll be revealed for Mando Monday this week um, we're gonna start off with Quill he looks fantastic he looks great awesome little figure um, absolutely a necessity to the line uh, I'm really looking forward to um, filling up my Mandalorian shelf with some of these new characters um, and I will be doing a Black Series update I have recorded already I'll be uploading it in the next couple of days um, the next figure we've got is Moff Gideon uh, he looks brilliant he looks nasty menacing he looks fantastic Giancarlo Esposito they've just captured his likeness brilliantly um, yeah, it comes with the dark saber, so I can't wait to see what some people are going to do uh, toy photography wise with Moff Gideon with his dark saber because it's going to look fantastic. And last but not least, the man himself, Grief Karga. He looks really cool, and I'm glad we're getting a season one version because you know Hasbro like to do this thing where they mix in you get four figures from one movie and then you get another figure from something else, and it just like the uh, Kira from Solo, it just doesn't match any of the other figures from, from that scene. Um, they're just prone to doing that, so I'm glad, I'm glad <laughs> they're um, basing him off of his season one appearance. Basically, we haven't seen him in season two just yet. We know he's, in, we know he's going to be in it because of the trailer. Um, so yeah, we're getting a few more Mando figures. I know there's a lot more rumoured, um, and we've got a few more weeks of Mando Monday, so... Be sure to be sure to expect some more um, here and there, particularly some more vintage collection. I hope. Um, also, last week it was revealed that uh, we're getting a Mando helmet from the Black Series coming in April, I think, uh, maybe March. Um, so they're up for pre-order in most places where you can pre-order your figures. I'm going to get a Mando helmet, absolutely 100% howdly doodly need that thing in my life I need to wear that on my head um, and uh, another rumor going around is that in the next week or two we could be seeing a black series um, Darksaber which I may have to get my hands on because I got that cheaper one a couple of months back and that thing is damn cool and I want something with more detail and yes I just need it I need a Darksaber in my life um, so I'm absolutely thrilled. I've been pumped with all the Mando reveals. I'm looking forward to more. The season is off to an absolute cracking start with three episodes in. Um, and if you're just tuning in, I'm doing a live stream after every episode this week, uh, this week past. I actually left the episode a little bit later to hopefully get some US folks in and included. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go back to Fridays next week, so it'll be within... A few hours of the episode episode airing so stay tuned to my social media and stuff um, because I'll put it put in uh, times dates I'll put an event on Facebook all that sort of stuff so you know exactly where to find uh, the live streams and uh, hopefully have some cool guests on which I have every week so it's been it's been a lot of fun all right guys I'm gonna wrap up this video by saying thank you very much for watching um, hope you like this video if you have please hit the thumbs up Hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet already. And I will see you all on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.